Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Siobhan. And today is Thursday, y'all, which means today is Friday Eve. And your girl loves a good Friday. Y'all know I like to get cute on a weekend. And I don't like to spend a bunch of time doing my hair, so my go-to style is always, if you have ever noticed, a good old ponytail. Um, whether it's a long ponytail, a uh, short ponytail, uh, to the side ponytail, to the back ponytail, and the middle ponytail, your girl loves a good ponytail because it's quick, it's simple, and it doesn't make me feel like I'm being weighed down. I love the wig look. I, lo I love how wigs look on other people, but I don't like to be like feel like I'm being held down by something. Sometimes when I have those wigs on, I feel like I'm just like like I'm just restricted. Like there's only so much I can do. Like I can't sleep right. So I don't like nothing uncomfortable. I don't like uncomfortable hairstyles, uncomfortable clothes, none of that. So anywho, in this video today, I'll be showing y'all how to do a quick and easy, simple long braid. Now you can have your braid to the back, like to the, towards the bottom of your neck, more towards the center, to the top. This time I decided to do more of a middle braid because I think last time I had it low at the bottom. And um, so to get started, you only need, I have this edge booster, edge, uh, yeah, edge booster, edge control, um, shining jam. I have a flat iron. I have some hair foam wrap. So what I did was, and I also have a, um, edge brush and a little red tail, red tail comb. So what I did was I went on ahead and I washed my hair. So I started off with freshly washed hair. As you can see, I just slicked the back, slicked it to the back in a ponytail. Um, I did my edges, did my baby hair. Y'all, let me tell you one thing about me. I'm always have baby hair. No matter what, no matter how old I am, no matter what's going on in the world, no matter who's president, no matter what's in, what's not, I'm going to always have baby hair. And that's just what? That's just that. So I did my baby hairs. Um, I tied my hair up. Well, I tied my little edges up. I used this. I don't know what this is called. Like this little black paper. I'm sure y'all remember your mama having it in the cabinet when you were small and you really didn't know what it was. But yeah, I used that. I tied my hair down. I set them to dry it for about 20 minutes just to let it all, um, you know, dry because I will flat iron the my ponytails just so it can mix in with the hair a little better because my hair is curly. So it tends to, um, if I don't flat iron it, you can like see it through the weave and I'm not trying to have no curly, straight, kinky, all those textures in one ponytail. So um, I'm gonna go ahead on and I'm gonna flat iron my hair just to get a little straight. It don't have to be bone straight, just straight enough to where you can actually work with it. Y'all, this style is perfect. It's perfect for anything. It's perfect like for if you wanna just do something real quick, simple and cute and you don't have nothing, you know, to do with your hair. It's inexpensive. It costs about um, $12 to do the style because the hair is real cheap. It costs about $12 for the whole bag. And actually you can get two ponytails out of the hair that I use. And this is the hair that I use. As you can see, I already used um, three bundles because I already did one ponytail. So this is the second half of the bag. I wasn't buying another bag half of this video. So we're gonna just work with, with this. And this is a 32 inch by Braid Nation, and this is what I use. So yeah, it's quick, it's easy, it's simple, it's inexpensive, and I change my hair a lot. Like I don't leave styles in my hair for a long time. Usually, it's pretty much just for the weekend because during the week, your girl be looking a hot ass mess because I'm in and out of the gym. And it's also perfect for that, like a ponytail. Um, I'm always in and, in and out of the gym, like with clients moving around a lot. So I can just tie my edges up and the ponytail is good to go. It usually lasts me about, honestly, it really don't last long. It'll last about, for me, three days. And like I said, I'm always moving around and doing stuff. So that could be why. And also I don't tie it up like I should because I guess after the weekend, after I'm done with it, I really don't care about it after that because I usually take it out. But it's really, really quick and cute. And it also can be worn with, with anything. Like, you know how some hairstyles only 
match with certain type of vibes like clothes like maybe you're going for the sexy look maybe you're going for the street look this can be worn with anything it literally goes with any and everything i wear it all the time like i am queen of ponytails i really love the way wigs look on other people and sometimes i do have the urge to want a wig but yo when i have wigs on like i will wear wigs for my bikini competitions and I just feel like I got a helmet on my head. I feel like I'm walking around with a damn football helmet on my head the whole time. And it's extremely uncomfortable. I mean, it's cute and it look good, but yeah, I'm usually more of a comfort person. Like, I guess that's why I look, I had this mess during the week, Monday through Thursday, because I'm more about comfort and not so much on how I look, but that's because I'm always in and out of the gym. Um, so I don't really have a need to get super dressed up during the week. But on the weekends, y'all, catch me on the weekends. But yeah, this this is my thing. Ponytails are like my go-to hairstyle for anything. And I mean, even like you can even wear this to like fancy occasions, like a wedding or um, you know, stuff like that, like dressy events because you can always dress it up. Like a ponytail is really, especially like when it's to the back, like a sleek ponytail is really classy. So you can do a lot with it. So like I said, this is my go-to style. So I'ma just finish flat ironing this. Um, and it don't have to be bone straight, just straight enough to where you don't have, you know, those kinks or curls or waves or whatever sticking out because the hair is more of a, um, I guess like a more of a, just kind of yakky it's called, yakky look, natural look, I don't know. But I know my hair don't really match it if I just um, wash it and let it go, it won't match. All right, y'all, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, can y'all see this? I'm gonna take, so I'm gonna use two, two and a half bundles. I may use the full three, I'm not sure yet. I think last time I used two and a half and I like the size and the length of it. So I'm gonna use two full bundles to start the ponytail. And then the other half, I'll use it to extend the ponytail because I like, and you don't have to extend it. This hair is really, really long, but I am six feet tall. So I do like long hair, long ponytails especially. So I like to ex extend mine just a little bit longer. And they do sell hair in a beauty store that's longer than this. I believe it's 90 inch, but y'all, that hair gets so tangled. I tried to do a ponytail with that 90 inch hair and it's so hard to deal with. It's so, it gets tangled so fast. It makes you just want to throw the whole ponytail away. Throw your damn self away too. Because I wanted to throw myself and that hair away the last time I tried it. So anyway, this is one full bundle. And I'm just using this little thing that I have from my sewing room just to keep the hair separated. So I'm going to put that there. That's one full bundle. And then this is the second bundle. And like I said, this is going to be to start your ponytail. And I will show you how to get that ponytail started in a minute. Y'all excuse my nails. My nails look a mess, but y'all, I'm going on vacation next week. And your girl trying to hold out, okay? Y'all know what it is. If I hold out another week, I'll be all right. All right. So that's the second bundle. And what we're going to do... With this third bundle is, I'm gonna get this all taken loose. So what I'm gonna do with this third bundle is, I'm gonna split it in half and I'm gonna put the second half to the side and then with one half, I'm going to split that in half. And this is going to be used to extend the ponytail. So I'm going to put this here and put this here. All right, y'all. So let me put y'all down a little bit. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm using this. Um, I have two rubber bands, like one of the little small rubber bands and a bigger rubber band, a thicker rubber band, because I'm going to use this to um, attach the hair to my natural hair. So we're going to take those two bundles and this can get a little messy. So remember, this the, these are the two bundles that I had 
and you're gonna take that halfway point and put it at the base of your ponytail. Can y'all see that? So right here. You're gonna hold that, keep this to the front. If you have somebody to hold it, that'll work. This has style can take two people on your first time. All right, so we'll just take that and pull it through. Your real hair with the other half of the ponytail that's in the back. You wanna leave this to the front. You're gonna just pull it through. gonna pull that through again now this stuff be getting caught on my earrings oh my god so you gonna you gonna you gonna figure it out and then do that again I like to do it like four times just to make sure and you want it to be as close to your um your hair your head I guess as possible so it won't show during the next step now I'm gonna do that again you stay up here How many times was that? Four? Three or four? I believe that was four. So we're going to do this again a fifth time. I believe this will be number five. And that is how you attach the hair to your hair. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Okay, so after your ponytail is attached, the next step is to, and you can, um, you don't, this isn't mandatory to have. So I have a, a hand blow dryer and um, some liquid mousse spritz, like a hardened spray. You can use whatever you have. You can use a regular mousse. You don't have to do this step. You don't have to use the blow dryer, but it helps to secure the little piece that you're gonna use as your wrap around just to cover your rubber band up. So for this step, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece out and you can make it as thick or as thin as you like. Um, I don't like it too thick, but I don't want it too thin either because I want it to cover everything up, but I don't want it to be too thick to where it makes the ponytail protrude too much. We ain't trying to have that. So let's see. go with about this much and I'm gonna just comb it through make sure it's no pinks in it and I'm gonna take this uh, spray and I'm gonna spray this piece all the way down to the end and then I'm gonna comb it out again and I'm gonna start to wrap it around the ponytail you want to do this kind of tight and make sure you stick the ends under because this is going to keep your ponytail together and you don't want it to come loose. So you just got to wrap that around. And I like to spray a little in between and then use the blow dryer. Just dry it up every few wraps. And you want to make sure you tuck this all the way under. Once you get towards the end, you want to start tucking it under. And then I'm going to spray it again. Just to try to keep that in place because it could come loose. You don't want that. You're thinking you're cute and your whole ponytail then fell apart. Mm -mm. All right, so now that we got our hair attached, this is what you have. 
I'm gonna comb this out. This hair can get tangled real fast, especially while you're trying to braid. All right, so when you start braiding, you wanna try to hide your natural hair as much as... What's going on with this lighting? See that? So, so you wanna divide this in three sections and the three and the three sections you want to include some of your hair and also the false hair into it because you want to have you want it to kind of be as even as possible it don't have to be even but you want to have a little bit of both in each section so let's see And it won't be perfect, but you can try. All right, so that's one section right here. Let's comb that out a little bit. And then you want to get your other two sections together. This is probably the hardest part of the whole process. All right, so now that we have the three parts sectioned off, I think. All right, you wanna try to braid it, especially at this part, as tight as possible. And also as you braiding, I like to put some of this, um, shining jam on my natural hair just to lay it down a bit especially at the ends and because my hair is kind of even like kind of kind of a blunt cut and you know how that is when you're trying to mix in the false hair it can start to show through so we're going to start that off with a regular braid and like i said this part you want to braid it as tight as possible while still trying to tuck your hair your natural hair underneath the false hair. And once I get towards the part of where my real hair ends, I'm gonna add some more of the shining jam on the ends, just so I can try to camouflage it a little bit and it won't be sticking out as much. So once you get to where your hair ends, just about where it ends, you want to add the other two pieces because this is where the ponytail will start to get a little narrow. And to extend it, you want to extend it and thicken it up a little bit just so it can flow naturally. So you're going to take this. So of course my camera overheated while I was in the middle of the video and I didn't know. So anywho, once you finish braiding, you want to add uh, the two pieces that we left to the side. You want to add that right where your hair ends because that's where the ponytail will start getting a little um, thinner. So you want to add that. You just take this, add in between those two fingers, and feed that in and just braid. Braid again. And then you'll braid like two times and then you'll add this second piece in that we put to the side. Put that in between those two fingers and braid. So just keep it, try to keep it like a natural braid. And you'll braid it all the way down. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. This is your braided ponytail. And usually I do a longer ponytail in this, but I just did this for tutorial purposes. And like I said, I'm six feet tall, so I like my ponytails to touch my ass. But this one, um, well, yeah, it does. But 
I like mine a little longer, but this is fine. I'll do the shorter ponytail for this weekend. But do you see how stiff it is? So I'm gonna go and boil some water and I'm gonna just dip it in the water to loosen it up a little bit and give it a little body. So I'll be back. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. And I did add a little piece to the bottom just to make it a little longer because I told y'all you girls tall, so I do like long hair. But this is the finished look, long sleep pony, easy. And I hope y'all enjoyed. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.